tucked away throughout the entrance of the Tam Luang Cave in the bustle of the search and rescue effort, shrines and offerings have been appearing. Ties from near and afar have been coming to make the offerings, their part they feel in making sure the 12 boys and their football coach are found alive. Yes, I think uh, a lot. As a Christian church leader in Chiang Rai province, Sung Guan Singkorn and his community have been praying for the missing since the very first day. And part of the effort to find them is right out the front door of one of his churches. Although Thailand is overwhelmingly Buddhist, he feels this is a time for all faiths to work together. It is very important in this situation. There are no borders between religions or faiths because we all have the same goal to help one another. We don't care where they are from or what religion they are. The main mission is to help people who are in trouble. In times of crisis like the Missing 13, many Thais focus on their spirituality, sometimes even ignoring the science of the situation. One man has traveled up from Bangkok because he believes he can communicate with a dragon spirit here in the caves. Ud identifies himself as a spiritual leader. He came up to volunteer in the rescue effort. But he also feels that the power of kindness and peace can affect change in the physical world. And he wants to use it to find the boys and their coach. After three days, if you cannot find the boy, see me. But after three days, oh, I'm not enough power uh, to, to negotiate. After, actually, I come up. I come up the, the power of the kindness and good power. And today, I'm in that power to do something. And at the same time, the largest international rescue effort in Thailand's history is in full swing. Using the physical power of the Thai military and more than a thousand helpers, while many Thais continue to exert spiritual power. But all sides are working for the same goal seeing those 12 boys and their coach in the daylight again. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Chiang Rai.